Hells and welcome to Rodos Reviews. This time we have a band that doesn't really count as metal when it comes to Metal Archive site for reasons which are rather weird to me. But this is not purely what you would consider to be metal. Still, I would say 90% metal and the rest can pretty much, well, be ignored. Anyway, this is a band that I have featured previously with their previous album, CBA from Liechtenstein. This one is Alpine Resistance and features rather, well, a cover that um, probably gives you a lot of ideas politically. Not gonna touch the subject more than that, but I, I have the feeling of this band that they're waving their middle finger the both East and West and humanity on, on the way as well. Let's see if I can just remove the jewel case without breaking it. Sometimes it's hard because they are kind of a hard to get out. And here you have the message, knife and a middle finger, and very much like, okay, we're gonna just, you know, piss off and let you fuck off, I don't know. Um, the thing here is, this is kind of a metallic release with a lot of punk included. But when I say a lot of punk, I mean it's mostly still metal. One could say this is kind of a metallic crossover with a lot of um, things to be said. You just look at the names of these band members and you get the idea how much there is certain kind of... Uh, um, I don't wouldn't know if, it's, if you can call it satire, but you know, a lot of messages to be said. So this is a very hateful band that they, they even got booted from Bandcamp from featuring some kind of material which is not prob probably all that suitable for all kind of uh, audience. There are a lot of cursing, there is a lot of hate, there is a lot of anger with this band. So I guess it's kind of a suitable that this kind of material is not for, out for everybody. But at the same time it underlines the fact that underground music belongs to underground and people who are looking for it can still find it. They don't need social media platforms for all that stuff. But let's talk about the music, let's forget everybody, everything else here. So this comes with 10 tracks plus two bonus tracks. They're not for some reason listed as here. Uh, I don't know, the other one didn't sound like familiar to me, but the last one is War, I Am Elite cover song. That is pretty much a cool way to uh, wrap things up. But the rest of the material are obviously the band's own material, and this is a step up from their previous album. And these 10 tracks are very fierce, very kind of up-tempo, most parts not all the way through, and they have a lot of energy combined with this anger and, you know, hateful sentiments towards whatever. And the music is indeed quite punky in the way that there is a certain kind of a uh, hardcore mentality. For some people it's very, very lovable, and for others it's more like a, I don't really care. I mean, it's not that away, far away from, you know, bands such as Dark Throne doing their own punkish versions, if you will. But this is more leaning towards death metal and the like. Not exactly trashy, not exactly purely death metal, but there is this element of extreme metal being very, very much present. And by extreme metal, I don't obviously mean bands that go like doom, death or anything like that. This is way too up-tempo, uh, way too aggressive for all that stuff. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if there were more trashier elements with this kind of music, because after all, this is the kind of a mentality that, you know, steps up from the societal issues and whatever opinions. Then again, it's also leaning towards more black metallic output, but it doesn't really sound like that when it comes to individual riffs and all. Uh, Production-wise, it could be of very many different kind of styles, but yeah, it's fitting for this kind of music. So there's a lot of that metallic, kind of a hardcore-ish, kind of a punky, kind of a crusty elements, but calling this non-metal just sounds plain ass wrong to me. Uh, for people who want something, you know, out of the ordinary, want this kind of anger and hate and, you know, a kind of a vent, you know, place to vent, an album to vent it with, it should have a good time with this. But then again, if you want your safe space music, if you want something that is nothing like politically tied to any kind of reason, and you don't want your music to show you middle fingers, stay the hell out of this kind of stuff. This is not for everybody. It's marginal music for marginal audience, and that should tell you a lot about it. Um, you will find links provided in the description box so you get the idea from the band's social media presence. And the music is supposed to be on other uh, platforms later on. This was told to me by the label owner. So even if you can't find it right now when this, well, review comes out, check out later on. It's aggressive and angry 
uh, but it's kind of okay to listen to, at least if you don't care so much about the message. So check it out or check it not. I don't really give a fuck. Hey, that almost rhymes. Anyway, cheers and see you soon with more reviews coming away.